Hey everyone, and welcome to my new course, Complete Vue.js 3, including the Composition API, Vue Router, and Vuex. This is going to be a quick introduction telling you about the course, about me, your lecturer, and showing you all the interesting projects we're going to be working on. So firstly, I just want to point out this is actually a re-recording. This has been re-recorded in April of 2021. In the last year, around 13,000 students have taken this course, and I got a lot of very valuable feedback. The main improvements are going to be around the sound quality, uh, the pacing, and the depth of explanations. The actual projects we're working on are going to be exactly the same, but I'm going to be going deeper on some topics and just making a lot of general improvements. A quick introduction to me, your lecturer. My name is Lachlan. I am on the Vue.js team and have been doing Vue for many, many years at this point, and I maintain a number of the core libraries. So at the very least, you know you're in the hands of an experienced developer. Let's take a look at a couple of the applications we're going to be building and the way this course is going to progress. So you can see here we have eight sections. There's four fundamental modules where we learn different techniques, including the Options API, the Composition API, Vue Router, and Vuex. The remaining four sections are going to be project-based. So instead of learning new techniques, we're going to apply the things we learned to create four exciting projects. One thing you'll notice is this course moves pretty quickly. I do assume you have understanding of JavaScript. As long as you're highly motivated though, you should be able to pick up things as we go along the way. The first project is going to be form validation, something very common you're going to be building in the real world. You can see we have validation here. Once we fill everything out, the form is ready to go. We're going to make these components highly reusable, so you're actually going to be able to use these in other projects by making the validation, the label, and the styling dynamic. After we finish that, which is going to be built with the Options API, we're going to move on to another Options API project that's going to be Pokemon Evolutions. Again, we focus on reusable code. We're making this card component and we're going to be able to reuse this throughout the rest of this course. Clicking on a card is going to load two more creatures and these are going to be remote loaded from a remote resource. So we're going to see how to handle fetch requests using Vue. Finally, after that, we move on to something called the Composition API, Vue's latest and greatest feature. We're going to load, use that to build this very cool hashtag application, and we are reusing our card component. We can like posts, we can filter by hashtag, and we can also filter by a search filter up here. This is using the Composition API, and we'll be doing a deep discussion between the Options API and the Composition API and the different use cases. The final project is going to be this photo album application. This is going to use all of your skills, including the Composition API, Vue Router, and Vuex. You can select an album, it's going to load a bunch of photos from a remote resource, and we're going to be using routing with Vue Router. We're also going to discuss more architecture, architectural discussion here, so how components talk to each other, the best way to structure your Vuex stores, and your routing. We're also going to see some optimizations around caching to make everything load nice and fast. That's an introduction to the course. I'm really excited to get started. So let's go ahead, jump into the next lecture, get everything installed and start writing some code.